so yesterday we were seeing about the uh, nodes right and then how to analyze and then get the final output we are seeing that okay now you understood how to uh, define some load or how to add some load cases and everything okay yesterday we have add uh, date load and then live loads okay in that live load we also have nodal load and then member load yes yeah and then if you want to view the output file you can click this icon also start output okay okay after clicking on that button then yeah you will get the result for the dead load and then for the live load all those values we can able to refer from here okay later we can just to go for post processing this is where we have stopped yesterday okay so in this i'm just taking dead load and live load and then okay see here we can able to see like a post processing result see we have displacement so displacement we have this icon deflection so how the deflection it will be like uh, here the scale is very less what you can do means like you can just magnify the scale can you able to see how i am just magnifying so no i don't understand here we have displacement and then here we have deflection okay when it is switched on only it will come otherwise it won't come to make sure you need to switch on the deflection okay and then uh, to make the scale uh, bigger or smaller you need to hold control and you need to scroll okay this is what the shortcut okay okay control and scroll then you can able to see the reflections okay then i am just going for reactions see reaction so it's, we can see deflection in that beam so it is failing no no which doesn't mean that see you can able to see the value the value were very minute okay i am just magnifying it okay how much the value should be So okay uh, if i need it's fail or pass see these values like uh, we can able to uh, like if it is like then we are going for a, a design right concrete design steel design where we can able to see whether the member pass or fail so here we can able to see only the values for deflection and it is like very negligible so it is not uh, that much uh, no need to worry okay and then reaction so reaction like uh, here you can able to see here there is one icon see select text that select text icon you can just click and drag and you can able to see your okay force and uh, reactions and then moments okay as we are inputting the concentrated load in between the member we can able to see minus here plus here okay like that here also you have uh, x uh, positive and then here it is negative this is what we are doing like uh, well in the beginning like how the shear force diagram if you want the shear force diagram here you can able to look how you can just go to displacement switch off the deflection now you go to fy this is for shear force in y direction okay okay and you can magnify that using control and scroll okay this is in y direction and this is in x direction okay this we can call axial force okay can you show me the values of the forces here the value of the forces yes okay go to results and then go for a view value and here you need to go for beam result which value you want shear value or bending value first we will see shear okay first we will see shear okay this is what the shear value since we have shear uh, uh, sfd diagram shear force diagram and then shear force values okay then i am just switching off it now i am just going for moment moment in y direction and you can able to magnify that so it is not coming so we can just go for other directions or mvz see this is what bending bending moment diagram bmd okay so for bmd if you want value you can go for result view value beam result and select only the bending moment on a date this are all the bending moments because there is no force in y and x direction that's why we have only moment in z direction yes yes you are right okay like this we can go even for the deflection we can go for see for deflection i am just going for result view value beam result and then displacement max resultant and then on a date see here you can able to see the deflection how it is going to deflect see this is like 1.1 mm very negligible right so the structure one going to collapsed 
Okay, yes. Okay. Okay, and here we have beam. Uh, from here also, we can able to see everything. Okay, the values and everything. Okay, yeah. FX, uh, oh. MX values. Okay, before we were working on node. No, it is we are working here. Uh, see here, a uh, node. On basis of node, we were uh, looking. Even we can just go for beam, and we can go for. So I'm just telling wherever you can able to view. But even this tables, it won't be available. Now nah? that is only for node. These values only for node, and these values only for the beams. Okay, and even you can go for stresses. Okay, and you can click. Once you click, it will come, and you can able to see the value how the stresses it will be. So you can just move, and then the stress also vary. Okay, maximum on the uh, top portion where the load directly acting. Now that's why two point six one three in the top, and then minimum minimum minus two point five in the bottom. Okay, like this you can able to see the stresses value. Here you have the table. Okay, and then graph. See what all we looking from here. You can also view from the graph. Okay. Got it. Can you go back to stress, please? Okay. Once you click only, you can able to view. See, this is for column. Okay. And you can able to see the value. How? See, based on the uh, dragging, it will uh, we can able to view where it is and then uh, how the values it will be. Uh, how to find the maximum? Where is the maximum stress? See here you have now based on the legend one point seven eight seven. Here it is having uh, so based on the color we can see here it is like having a maximum at the right right portion. Okay, a minimum at the left portion. But here it will be different. See here it is having different right maximum at the left and then minimum at right. See, this is what the difference. Opposite, now nah? this is like standing opposite to each other. See here, maximum in left, but here maximum in the right. That's what the difference. Got it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this is what post processing. Okay. The report and then everything, uh, animation graphs, we will see later. Now we will uh, understood only the basics. It is very simple. This is animation, animation for a big structure. We will see. See, still it is animating. Okay, animation. Uh, one more thing. What? How, how we can use this output for our purpose? In report, we can just go for which report you want, and then you can process. You can print to directly, or we can print to PDF also. See, these values, it's important, right? We need to normally structural engineers like uh, finding SFD BMD diagrams and then they are just calculating the value. This value it is uh, difficult for us to calculate manually. So that's why like software doing and then uh, it is providing us a, a value which is 100 percentage equal to the manual calculation as well. Okay, my question is how can I use this value? No, like you need to study which is maximum, which is minimum. See here like uh, bending moment is maximum in the mid span since the, the load acting there. And then it's minimum at the support or minimum at the start and end support. So like this, we can able to study for each and every member. Based on the BMD diagram itself, we can able to study. And then uh, if, if you want to change cross section, you can change the cross section. You can reduce the load or increase the load. Then the values, it will be changing. So this is what like uh, structural engineers used to analyze and then uh, redesign the structure. They will, uh, they will do some... Uh, modeling and then they will go for analysis and they will study the results and then after based on the result they will go for redesign okay until uh, until the desired limits what they fix that now nah, until that they will uh, do this kind of trial and error methods and they will get the values okay okay up to up to here everything is okay i understood how to get the results okay can you tell me how to study these results yeah i'm already telling now nah, this is what it is which result you want like, like if I got the stress and the, the sources and the moments. Yeah, see, I already told you now the same thing. What we have here in result. The same you can able to study one by one for each and every node. 
okay for each and every bean we can able to study this is for node and then this is for a uh, bean see one two which means like node and then here like you have maximum axial force maximum bending moments okay for each and every load combination we can able to see for each and every distance 2.53 meter like that so what we are doing graphically we have table also maximum shear forces okay this is beam end forces and this is beam forces so one by one you can able to click and you can able to study if you want to screenshot you can take the screenshots as well this is the envelope in the sense like uh, total load so both load for envelope we can just to see the values okay here you can change also when you change here it will also change this is for dead load and this is for live load and this is for envelope, envelope is what combination ah envelope is combination of what are all the loads you have see in envelope it is like a bending moment diagram is different and you can able the to see that is selected before going to post processing the uh, the software asked us to select the combination no that load combination we can able to create ourselves but envelope like uh, yeah yesterday we were doing now in general uh, load and definition load envelope if you want you can just add your own combination no these two we are taking so whatever you are taking it will come when we are when we are doing post processing we are selecting now that is what envelope we have not selected any envelope no no we have selected like when post processing i did today also i did i selected uh, two loads they done live load can you can you show me again how to select envelope see can you able to see that we are selecting both na yes yeah. envelope of load cases in selected list this is what i was telling today also i did okay based on that only we are getting all this here got it can you please repeat again which one is envelope no when you are going to post processing it will come automatically that's why for uh, to make it process now it won't come because we already go, we, we already in post processing that's why i just closed and came back see when you are going to post processing it will be asking to you to select which load you want for envelope okay hmm. so it will combine with those these are both loads will be combined in the envelope uh, otherwise you can select any one of that it based if you are having many loads okay got it this is what post processing okay